Joker, what's up guys? How you doing? Happy Monday. Brokey, hello. TDX. Yonic, thanks for that raid. I hope you had a fantastic stream. Please let me know why you did. No crystals, no issues on crystals. Raving the service today, Wallen. I didn't get any reports that uh, NA was having a problem. And I uh, I refreshed the, uh, the directory and seemed like the directory isn't full of people logging in, so I will try. But if we... Uh, if we botch it, or rather, if we lose because of lag in DC, I'm just going to hop back into Hades 2. I'm not even going to bother building another file. <laughs> I'll do that another time. Um, so that's the plan at the moment. Um, Piranha, hello. Kieran, Rosin, Slice, Silver, I got you, dude. Mick, what's up, dude? Hope you guys are having a good day. Um, we are back on 14, and, you know, it's, it's not like I was actively trying to stay away from it, it just wasn't playable, especially with the content we do. I do feel kind of bad that, uh, this is the EU advertised stream and then I'm doing Deep Dungeon like the European nation can't. <laughs> but I'm on, a, I'm on in Europe right now, so I mean, you know. I got to 150, uh, ready for another. Nice! Awesome, glad to hear it. Um, hey, how it is? <laughs> we will see, dude. It's like, it's like a, it's like a good and good, you know? Ken! Yo, Kenda, thank you for the 16 months. I appreciate it. It's like a good and good. If I if I disconnect because of server issues, I just go back into Hades 2 and then I'll have a blast in Hades 2, so I'm not I'm not too concerned about that. Um I wanna work on a file later, but thunderstorms. Ooh, oh god. Imagine imagine having multiple multiple reasons that you can't play 14. Mother Nature and then someone DDoSing and then the servers being weird. On top of that. Also, the last two days cancelled. I don't blame you. I mean, especially if you don't need to do anything. If you don't have a house you care about, and you don't care about the events going in. Like, I don't care about the events coming up, personally. Um, I have a house, but, you know, I I only really play this game because of stream. I don't blame you. Save that money. Play something else. I mean, you're going through 9. Have you beaten 9 yet, Elibus? 9 is, uh... 9 is great. It'd be funny, it's funny, I'd be like, hey, you guys should try 11, but then no, don't try 11. <laughs> not not now, don't start 11 now. 11, 11 info might help you. Watch, like, Essie, who's doing it, who's doing 11, watch her do it. Um, probably adjust. Um, I'm a little surprised they haven't said anything. That, to me, is a little surprising. Like, I would have expected some, like, Yoshi P announcement about, oh, you know, we've been, uh, we've been experiencing these problems, I understand it's this and that. I don't expect anything, like, any compensation. I just kind of would look for reasoning, but it's just... It's interesting that it's been just kind of blanket silence. I mean, to be fair, they could be gearing up for Mediator, and maybe they do address it in the live letter. Um, which is... which is fair. And, like, maybe that would be the point, uh, that they want to do that, but I don't know. For a second, you thought I DC'd and lost the run? Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I almost finished 9. Already thinking of what to play next. Still a month until Elden. Hmm. Hades 2. Um, what's coming out soon? Oh, well, Diablo 4 season's coming out soon. And then I'm like, I'm looking into potentially Diablo 4 season, and then I'm looking into Wivering Waves. I don't know if you're a gotcha gamer. Those games are gonna... That's enough. Like, I'm good for, for until Dawn Trail comes in. Uh, I would like to get this ninja file to at least a decently high floor because my PB right now is 69. Nice. It's tomorrow, right, Severin? I might dabble with it. I'm not sure. Since I'm like addicted to Hades 2 at the moment, although I do feel like I want to chill on Hades 2 just a little bit. Um, maybe I just stick it to stream and then play Diablo 4. No, NA has been okay from what I've seen. My heart can't handle it one. Can't. That's fair. I don't blame you. Hey, Planet? No. It's a hard no. There have been multiple instances of load set about it, but it's someone in tech, you usually don't say anything because it gives away how you're resolving it. That's fair, but I mean, like, at least some message. Like, you know, hey, we understand this is happening, so we apologize and we're trying our best, you know? That, like, at the very least, that's what I would expect. Not, like, a whole, like, we we've, we've sent the FBI to, uh, you know, some place in, like, Fiji. We've knocked down their door and we found the suspect. Like, like I don't expect that. I mean, I just expect like you know. Hey, we're trying our best. That's what I. That's what I would look for. 
Also, guys, the live letter on Thursday. I highly recommend if you're gonna be up for that, then be sure to be sure to follow and and check out our buddy Mr. Kenchila. She's gonna be live. She's gonna cover the live letter. She's fluent in Japanese, so she might actually pick up things that the even the English translation won't pick up. So like, she's gonna be eyeing the uh, if Yoshi P mouse is over, you know, like. Whatever this is, this is a mouse, right? When she when they do this, she's gonna try to translate it like on the spot. She's gonna actually actually have uh, ask for help from the community about like if they can take screenshots really fast and send it to her so that she can see it in a snapshot and try to see what the translations are. But she's capable of doing that. So you might see some extra information on her stream more than what they're gonna have in the live letter. I will not do anything. Um, I will be up. I will be watching. But I'm gonna see if I can do some type of YouTube video post the live letter. That's why I'm not going to do anything, because I want to spend the time trying to do that. So maybe, maybe not I do something, but it depends on what info goes on, comes out. I'm not, um, not, I'm not, I'm not part of Media Tour, so I don't have any restrictions on what the hell I do, so I will uh, do whatever I feel is necessary and is desirable. So, yo, what's up, Kenshin? How you doing? Live letter will start one hour before I'm, I'm off work. Gotta hide in the bathroom and... <laughs> Have it on a, have it on a, like a wireless headphone. Yeah, Media Tour starts on, in two days. Um, I don't know who's there, but you know, you probably expect videos from like Mr. Happy. I mean, I'm going to be looking for like Mr. Happy probably. Um, to, to look at his videos, but I don't, I don't know who's going to be there. I'm not, that's all I can tell you. Um, okay, let's get this run started. So, what's up, Southerner? So, we're dumping our sustaining potions off this run. So that's gone. Not that I had the right ones on anyway. And I'm adding in a little bit where I will always pull two at the same time. Uh, which is gonna be annoying, but we'll just we'll do it because it's fun. Um, the other little bit of criteria I've added to this is that I will try to kill them at the same time. So I can really be, like, you know, weird about it, so... Yep, 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 commit to waking up at 4am. I'm waking up at 4am. Do it. I don't have any raising. Oh, that's great. Alright, let me remember how to play this job again. Uh, let's see. I also have to remember what everything does. Double. But this is almost like an Astro Red, if you will, right? That's how I'm looking at it. I think the bigger issue is when I try to do Primal Red. That I have to think about two different things. Good warm up. Feels pretty good on the servers, at least for now. It all it takes the hiccup. Uh, I guess I pull you. But I need another pull. When the AOEs happen. <laughs> See, this is what I don't want to do. This is what I prefer not to do. I think it'll be easier for me to focus on one and then delete the other one. I'm like so paranoid about this freaking thing. Going back to EO reminded me of how much stuff, <laughs> how much it all one shots. It doesn't take very long, right? It's just, just walk into an AOE, you just die. Just invuln before each primal lens. Just <laughs> how many, how many primal lens, how many primal lens rends do you intend me to fire, fire off today? Um, oh you, I got a full That's not the button I want. Okay, where's the exit? Oh, that's a, that's two. That counts as two, right? I almost got stuck on a wall. I I didn't remember what button my interrupt was. I just like, where is it? Okay. Okay. 
a floor to start with, that's it. Because I creep closer and closer into this room. Okay, I'm out. Ox is here. <laughs> uh, oh wait, if I pull- okay. Daniel, yeah, anyway, I hope you're having a good day, by the way. Can I hit that? Oh, I didn't have my bonus. I'm glad there's no patrols here. This movement is getting a little annoying. Okay. Goal of you to do deep dungeons with all the disconnects. NA is safe. NA is currently Facebook safe at the moment. Um, at the moment. I mean, things can change on a dime, but I have a backup plan. I'm just gonna go to Hades too if uh, anything goes wrong, Astro. Eureka like Fending Gear is so good. Dude, I, I cannot wait for this to be 2 die. Just think about it when it's 2 die. It's gonna be amazing. I'm so excited for that. Hey, Ku, how you doing? You, guys, you gotta bear in mind with all glamour, like almost everything in the game, you're gonna have to you're gonna have two die, so just almost envision how it's gonna look when, when they implement that, you know. I hear Giga Chat and I don't wanna deal with him. Uh Is there one behind me? Or am I hearing the one that... Okay, I'm hearing the one that was one. This file didn't have raising. I was gonna raise in here if I had like multiple, but I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Was this the exit? That's the exit. Eureka can't be the can't be worse than this relic than the um well. Uh, the grind is murdering your soul. At least it's like you can kind of do a brain dead, right? That's the one side of the disciple of hand and land, and you can do a kind of brain dead. Nice if it finished on fire. I was just thinking earlier today that I'm glad I'm progging ultimate instead of deep dungeon. Um, the EU servers are in shambles. The EU servers I heard are not great today. They are not great today. 
as they basically, I don't know, it, I mean, at this point you almost ask when were they great? That's like the better question. Which really feels bad, honestly. I, I shouldn't have... I didn't have to do... Vengeance there. Really? Uh, I'm not gonna like this. Like, I'm hoping that was the mimic. They haven't... they haven't been great for a week. Yeah, no, I mean, they haven't been great for longer than a week. It's been like... It's been almost like a... two weeks, three weeks. I mean, last... last Monday... Oh, I guess it was last Monday really when it kicked in, but EU has been getting... Like, DDoS issues for a while. NA, NAJP was the one that was just hit all, all together in the uh, last week, which was crazy. Pretty sure my thing should come back up by the time... I'm gonna kinda get this just low, and then... Swap to later. Okay. So what I'm trying to do purposely is I'm trying to kill them all at the same time as a bit of the additional challenge. So it isn't simply just me doing double pulls. It's also like, you know, killing them close together. Because otherwise, I mean, how I, lo how I look at it, if I wanted to do like a double pull-ish challenge, I mean, the easy way out is just to pull two, kill the worst one, and then kill the next one. But I figured, let's do it this way so it actually adds in that I'm actually dealing with both of them simultaneously. That's why I'm doing- that's why I'm specifically doing it this way. That's it. That's like, I don't have to, but... Um... The DDoS seems to gotten really bad from the start of main, and it depends on which- yeah. DT is gonna be DDoS central- central laws. <laughs> I hope not! I mean... I mean, if you want to look at it optimistically, you can be like, well, maybe them doing it now is not the greatest idea because what if they find ways to implement that can uh, now prevent something like that, you know what I mean? You give, It's like you've given them the ability to protect themselves as opposed to hitting them by surprise, which I feel like right now it's like they're hitting them by surprise because they don't have anything to deal with it well enough for it to be solved by now. My interrupt is gonna come back up for the arc attack of the archer on again. We almost called it Acheron. I don't know, maybe it is called that. But... In the live letter, they announced they're launching for next missiles. <laughs> yeah, live, live on, live on TV. They, they're going to launch them. <laughs> we now have live footage. I'm sure that'll go well in the public, right? What could possibly go wrong? Something, otherwise, I have to pull two. Yo, what's up, Memento? 
Hey Louis Villas, we have a uh, we have a sponsorship with Tokyo Treats. We're actually going to be doing a new box. I think literally the new, the next box is coming in today, um, and uh, we're going to be doing that maybe I don't know maybe next week or something. Um, very good stuff. The community has liked the the limited edition Japanese snacks. I get a commission out of it. You get a discount, so kind of works out really nice. Um, don't get PTO for a DT release, get it two weeks after release. It's not a terrible idea. I see the logic of what Gany is trying to say there. I mean, especially if you're a raider, you probably want it along the lines of like... Savage, right? But then, I mean, uh, you know, I still think MMO releases of anything is special. But... Yo, what's up, Kiok? Is how you doing over there? Kiyu has has it for like a week, almost every day. Yeah. Multiple ways to go. They will probably develop a missile launcher UI to be as bad as a mob station. Oh, they gotta do like two, like three authentications just to get it to work. Probably. Blaster is nice. A few trolls floating around. That it really matters. My new monitor came in, so I'm gonna boot. Nice! My, uh, my current- one of my monitors, again, had like a little bit of a- little bit of a scare because it produced horizontal lines, <laughs> like, across the entire screen. It just woke up and boomed. But, essentially, I just let it stay on and it disappeared, which is nice, but it's the second time it's done that in like a span of two years. If I were to upgrade my monitors, I'd probably go to 4K. I don't have 4K monitors. I have like 2K monitors. I had the choice to get a 4K, but I'm like, I don't need that. I need it right now. I've never seen a 2K monitor. I love my monitors. I just hope they last me a little, like just a little bit longer, you know? Maybe maybe like five more years, I'll be happy. It's gonna be interesting to see double... Uh... <laughs> That's just, you're assuming I pull two chimeras at the same time. I mean, I'm being very strategic on what I pull. I'm missing too many Ks. <laughs> Is, uh... Was that a widescreen? Oh. I'm not, I'm not well versed in the dimension. Accidents happen. It would be like the time to like... Pop a lethargy or something, and then get hit with a with a with a fitter bug. I'm sorry, hit a fitter feature. My apologies. I have a 4K monitor. It's nice, but I also have everything windowed, so it's too big. I basically, do like like I guess I imagine it would make more sense if all your monitors were the same, right? But then also it could be like really just everything, all the UI is small. Forgot about lethargy. That's no fun. Like we get, I implement one one challenge at a time, not twenty. Okay, me get the thing. I'm here for potions, so we might as well get the potion. I mean, I, I mean, we've already had the the added difficulty of me having like a potential leg spike at any point. <laughs> so, like, I thought I was safe going off of uh, the Oceanic server. Nope. Not even a bit. Yeah, what's up, dude? Happy Monday. Good for you guys. So yesterday, I was going to do 14. I was going to do, I think, I don't know what melee I was going to do, but we were going to do melee heaven on high for Viper training. But, um, literally as of like an hour before I went live, 
um, our buddy Lake from the community, who's hopped in here, supported the stream and everything. He said he DC'd on 90 and Eureka Orthos. Which is like, okay, that happens. But the thing was, his entire party, his light party of friends, they all DC'd at the same time, so they lost the file. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, good. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go play uh, Hades 2 today. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, 14 tomorrow. <laughs> and then, I know at like an hour or two before that, I think three separate NA gamers uh, all disconnected. I think Aurora lost one of his files too, which is why he didn't go live because of that, so... Yeah, it was uh, definitely a strategic strategic decision on my place. Yeah, all four. Yeah, the, his whole his whole party disconnected. So it's just like it's happening right now. Ooh, well this can count as a uh, as a multi pull. Let's do it. Well, I'm dying. They're gonna do the line anyway. Yo, this slow is ass, dude. I hate this slow, but I had the landmine, so what can I do? Okay, if I pull this, I have to pull something else. Who has been fluid lately? Yeah, I mean, he, he decided not to do Conjure yesterday. Hard on him. And he said that if he had done it, the time where he would have disconnected was going to be precisely when um, he was supposed to get to uh, like the higher floor, so... A lot of landmines on the ground, making this a lot of, a lot easier. There was better today for NA. For EU, I think people were reporting that it's not great on EU. So um, take that, take that as you will. <clears throat> Blue Phoenix, welcome in today. I had one lag spike yesterday in Ninja mid double pull and thought I was gonna die. Yikes. Oh, yesterday also! I don't know if you guys caught it on on, uh, on the directory. The really, really long Aflon had um, a Eureka Ortho speedrun, 81 to 100, which was done by Mizao, who, by the way, did it for ESA as well. So same runner, same category, but did it for that one. During the run, had a hiccup on the on the connection too. He oh, he had a he had a Pokeball happen on the run, but was able to was able to complete it. But, uh, yeah, he had a bomb too. You're the one I have to watch out for. And... Oh, reason. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for that to go off. I need to see if anything's gonna be in my way. This one would be. This one would be. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna kill these. Doing, I'm just doing no sustain runs during the DDoS period so I don't feel bad if I lose it. But yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna feel bad if I lose this file. I just set up a new one and then we'll just do another day. Um, good. I'm having a good day. Thanks for asking. What type of run was it? Um, it was... Hold on, I'll, I'll answer it in a second. So the, the run Mizao did was just basically Eureka Orthos 81 to 100. So it wasn't anything special, it's just clear 81 to 100. Um, but that's that's a thing, right? I mean, <laughs> Deep Dungeon is 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 realistically a speedrun category, so you don't really need to do anything special. You just put it up there and just be like, okay, I'm doing this run, which is great. Um, 
I thought two times full meant two packs per four set. Two packs? Wait, what do you mean two packs per four set? <laughs> like, like three times three? Math? Yeah. EO looks fun. I can't wait to get into it. It's it's got its own flavor. That's that's for sure. Would you say that double pulling is necessary for tanks runs in EO? Hell no. I don't think I ever double pulled on tanks. What I'm doing right now is completely unnecessary. I mean, like, landmines, I would say, is probably a little bit more on the, uh, quote-unquote necessary side to help you with time. But, like, having to just do it all day, I don't think it's... I really don't... I would say it's necessary. Yeah, see this? Excuse me. Pardon me. For some twisted reason... 1 to 30 are some of the most difficult floors because of scaling. It's gonna be interesting to see what they do in, um, in Dawn Trail. Chill. Storms on Warrior is so nice, you just pop vengeance and everything dies. Save snails? Yeah, yes it is. Does 5% of your HP. <laughs> it's gonna be funky. That's why I didn't do an Aether pull video for um, Greek of Orthos yet, because I feel like Talos and Heaven and High are going to stay the same, but EO could change. And I don't know what it's gonna change to, but it could change. For whatever reason. I wouldn't want to pull a Gubu and anything else, so the pulls are gonna be a little bit thin for me to pull off here. <clears throat> if I'm forced to Gubu, I'd rather fight two Gubu, but. Me? Also gotta make sure I don't run into like a patrol here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna fight the the bird first. Since the uh, gelato enrages and I'll do it in that order. I'm pretty sure I could have killed it, but I didn't have anything wound, wound up. Hey Victoria, how you doing? Welcome in. I hope you have a good day today. Uh, this one. This one doesn't matter which one I fight first. be able to get at least one solo clear done before DT. So there's still enough time, but the DDoS thing have, has uh, thrown a wrench into any, like, a lot of plans for people, that's for sure. It's tempting, but I'm, I'm just gonna go. I wonder what the worst mob combo is? Two Spectres. Actually, like, I mean, I'll probably talk about it as we go along, because sometimes I can't quite think about it, like, thinking a couple steps ahead with the enemies. But I but one of the quick ones here was fighting a Gubu and like anything else. If I if I pull the Gubu incorrectly, timing, I can get pulled straight into an AoE. <clears throat> um 
Like, if you pull a double specter, then you have to kind of stagger them. Otherwise, you're dealing with... You can deal with two things at the same time, and then it's just like, you're just basically going to die. <laughs> I mean, you know? Like, I had one situation with a double Chimera, where it was the first time I actually found out that Dragon Voice and Ram's Voice are staggered. Like, they, they are a different cast type. Um, I'm sure, like, if you play Blue Mage, you probably see it. I don't know if Blue Mage even has that thing. But essentially, they, they casted it at the perfect timing. So there was just like a half a second window for me to avoid them at the same time. But they, they casted it like to go off at the same time and I'm like, well that's it. <laughs> I don't know what I can do here. I have to be like pixel perfect in a game that has like, you know. Yeah, I may as well pull this because uh, otherwise I'd have to pull something else. Yeah, like, it, there's like, um, a, there's like a further complication with certain enemies. I mean, if you pull them at the same time, there can be complications. But then if you pull them staggered, there can be further complications, or you're making them better. I mean, one of the other ones I learned on Astro, when we were trying to do Astro here, was that I think unlike Palace of the Dead and Heaven on High, they start desyncing their abilities because it's based on, like, being in range or something. So, like, for instance, I was pulling the, uh, the... The, the cone dudes in uh, 91 plus, I had three of them on me, and provided they were attacking me, they were going to use their telegraph at the same time, it was going to be manageable. But because of my kiting, they were starting to desync really bad. And I and then I couldn't tell what was firing off first, and then I just ate, I just ate an AoE because I lost track of it. Um, and that sucks. You know, like, if you had them always using their ability at precisely the same time, every single rotation, very easy to dodge. Once you start having, like, you know, A, B, C going, and then it goes B, C, A, and then it goes C, B, it's like, okay. <laughs> Which one do I watch? Which one went first? And then you're, go you're going through this very, very quick order in your brain of, like, I don't know, I don't know which one's fired, and then you can't tell what they're facing. It's, it gets really wonky. Um, I think EO provides a little bit of that challenge. Um... Okay, I can do this. Thank you for that follow, I appreciate it. I think I could fight it here. Willow, I think I see you. What's up, Willow? It's a good spot. I'm gonna fight it here. Okay. Hello, howdy at me. Hello, howdy at you. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I can't engage this yet. Because I need something else and it's not gonna be the Mud Man. <laughs> Finding the Mud Man with this is asking to die, let me tell you. Unless I witching, which is fair, I could witching, but. I have one of them. I need to get over to the other side really fast. Pretty sure I can line a sight from here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a good spot. You're gonna have to get over here, dude. I know I have that spot I can go into after this one. Okay, 
managed. Little, little extra spicy, because I had to now find a new wall that I wasn't familiar with. Now I can pull a Mudman, if I pull another Mudman. Um, that's... Dude, there's only one mob left on the floor, is that back to one? <laughs> no, it's not gonna be that crazy. It is what it is, I killed everything. I mean, I would have had to double pull my way to that point, right? So... Maybe that's the deal. Oh, actually, well, no. I mean, wouldn't you just wait for a respawn? I mean, I'm not gonna wait for a respawn. But, you, know, you just wait for a respawn. Oh, you missed. Get back. Yo, what up, Biff Tech? That made me scared that monkeys had jumped down a bunch of floors for half a second. <laughs> Oh, because of the- oh my god, because of the AoE. Dude, that thing has done permanent PTSD to me, not gonna lie. Anytime I see a quick AoE, I- I- I flinch IRL. <laughs> like, like, I don't know if some of you guys, like, um, if- if you're playing, like, a game, like, maybe, like, say, like, a first-person shooter, when there's, like, this illusion of, like, something coming at you from, like, from in front of you, like, a gap closer to your face, like, a first-person, and you were, like, you know, Instinctively, like avoid it IRL, like 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 shift your head or something. I used to do that with um. I used to do that a little bit with uh, when I was line of sighting for um, white mages. Is as my character is going through the wall, I'm actually physically moving myself as well. That's hilarious. Like I'm I'm actually shifting and looking like I'm I'm trying to look over the wall like it makes a difference. <laughs> um. So I want this one and the Mud Man specifically. Because I can handle these, okay. And the the um the uh, the uh, the uh, the umbral umbral flames, right? That's the proper name for it, the umbral flames. I started using them last night. <clears throat> I only got two runs in. It's I I need to work out um kind of how I build it because every time I've built it so far, I am very strong from like stage one to three, and then at stage four and at and at the boss, I I am just like I'm just hitting like a wet needle really bad. Really, like, they- I- I had a nice build where I had special- I had special damage increased, and then I had special damage as frost. So I was just spamming the hell out of it, and it was pretty cool. But, um, once I got to the boss, it was just- so once I got to the final boss, it was just a little weird. Uh, I like the weapons. I just need to sort it out a little bit. Better. Like I can see its I can see its potential. Kill this one a little too fast. Yo, what up, Effie? How you doing? Doggo went that way. I don't want to pull the doggo. Two mudman. I'm 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 happy with two mudman. But let me wait for the uh for the dog to leave. Maybe to use special more. The attack is very uh, the attack, the attack. How I'm looking at it, you can benefit from the attack if you get attack speed, like something that speeds up the attack or the channeling. Then it's fine. Um, if you don't, then it gets it does get very odd. Like it's it's really hard to get to that full power of the of the attack in my opinion. It leaves you vulnerable a lot. Also, the awkwardness. Willow, I don't know if you tried. But like, you can still cast while you're channeling your attack. But like, it's very awkward for my hands to do it, so I have to change like how I'm holding the controller just to pull it off. Dude, can you please? Like, can I... Okay. There's another wolf behind me, I hear it. 
coming for me. This would be very convenient. Okay, now I need to see where the... Hope you like Mudman Crotch. That's all you're gonna see for the next, like, minute. It's going up. Hey, Chiron, thank you. Yeah, that's that's where all the luck I think is gonna go. <laughs> do, the, do I make it to the end of this run today? We'll see. I felt confident enough to give it a shot, that's for sure. I don't recommend it for EU. It, like, I've been kind of advising people, check out the Discord, see, um, see what people are potentially talking about and then go from there. And it definitely looked like EU was having a problem. Some NA were reporting that it was fine. So I was using that for my info. Yesterday EU was... I'm sorry, yesterday NA was a huge problem. So, um, I definitely gave that a lot of respect. I need a spot for this pudding. Um, that's a good one. Which deep dungeon is the hardest to solo? <laughs> um, if you're asking me, I still feel like Palace is, is probably one of the harder ones of them all. I mean, there's a variance of ways you can answer that question though. Like, are you using information? Are you going in? Are you are you going in blind? Which can change the question. Like, if it's your very and also it depends on your history. Like, if you've never done deep dungeon, period. Um. You know, that could also give a different answer, but I think the general answer to me is just Alice is the hardest one of the three. Zyron is saying everything. I don't want to have to pull these. After like 4 p.m. Yeah, it's spooky, I stopped playing it, so people start disconnecting. Interesting, so like, you're you're starting to identify like, like a specific uh, timing now. Yeah. Be careful because Dude, these doggos are out of blood. change by location. That's good, that's a good location. How did you not use your thing? I thought he was going to use it on the spot, but he decided not to. So I know his DC's down to... <laughs> you know, for his for his knowledge on just, you know, very, very good analytics, I'm not surprised he has it down. But that's also, again, interesting that there's a consistency to it, right? Like, that's kind of wild to me. Not wild to me, but also...
Alright, ball coming out. One to the middle. Credits. Good thing to read, man. Out and in. Welcome in, guys. Anyways, that is extra credits. Wonderful content creator. There's a lot of cool, cool content on road lights, talk shows. There's a lot of 14. They're very knowledgeable in 14 as healer as well. A very, very, very well rounded dude as a content creator. Welcome, in, guys. I'm Angel Stevens. We are in our wheelhouse of Final Fantasy 14. Extra cow, extra bongos, easy yeah, raid. Yeah, extra yeah. bongos, extra cow, double raid message. <laughs> Wait, double raid? Who's out me? Hello! Yo, Thunder, thanks for those raid subs. I appreciate it, guys. Welcome in. I will give you more attention in a second. But yeah, good to see ya. We are, um, braving the servers on 14 today. NA has, um... NA has registered itself as safe on Facebook, so we are going to play today. Um, uh, EU, not so much, but, uh, NA is okay. And, uh, we are doing a, uh, no regen challenge on Eureka Orthos, and I'm also forcibly double pulling every single pull as an extra layer to the challenge. So, um, that's what we're doing today, and I'm hoping I can survive. Through a myriad of, uh... Through a myriad of, uh, criteria. With Alchemy, I hope you're doing With Thunder, I hope you're doing good. <clears throat> thanks, thanks, I appreciate you like the guy. Um, I'm still kind of, like, half attentive to chat, but... I believe Extra Credits was talking about some, uh, topic that we're familiar with over here. On his, on his, uh, stream. Alki Mocha, no drinking suspots. Yo, How will you quench your thirst? Thanks for the reset. Um, I, I believe you're talking about Hades 2, so uh, I hope you had some interesting discussions on Hades 2, and uh... Hope that all went well. I've been having a blast with that game. No spoilers, of course. Out and in. Oh, yeah, out and in. Nope, oh, nope. Didn't get it all. We'll see how it's shaking up the release schedule. Ooh, interesting. Okay, that's an interesting... That's an interesting topic. Got it, got it, got it. And how it's not playing... How I'm not playing till he's over. I don't blame you. I don't blame lots of you guys doing it. Like, I have a very specific reason why I'm playing it. It's because I want to get good at that game. I never played the first one. So, I... And also, this is like my window to play games at the moment. Before Dawn Show comes out. So that's really my reason. I want to, like, maybe speedrun it. So, um, that's the only justification I gave myself. But a lot of people, I feel like, have, uh, have a history with Hades 1, so they know how potentially the development process is gonna go. And you're probably gonna be like, some guys are probably using that past history, and it's, it's understandable. Left. a long fight as a tank. And without a demi. If I had three, I'd use it. In and out. And left. 10%. It's almost there.
in the know. In the know. I have a full steal and it's gone. That's how slow this is. We demi all the way up on the bosses. But this one I wanted to do without it. I'm free. <laughs> Alright, let me catch up here. <clears throat> What's his health for in and out The cast name. So, what what the boss will say is it'll say Songs of Ice and Thunder. So, think about if you know what Ram's voice and Dragon voice is, where Ram is ice and then Dragon is thunder. It's telling you that it's going to be Ram, then Dragon, if it's ice, then thunder. It could go Song of Thunder and Ice, which means then it's going to be Dragon first and then... And then Ram's next, and then you make the appropriate uh, the appropriate determination of how you resolve that. Um, and then he'll say either I think it's it's songs of ice and thunder, or I think also he'll say uh, there's like two different names that they use it, but generally speaking, it's around those elements. So that's what tells you what's first and second. So that's the tell. Um, I think you could also tell it from the head, but I don't I don't think that's actually. Um, okay, let me catch up all the ways from the raid. Um, so Ms. Alchemy, thank you for the 32 months. It is a pleasure to see you. Thank you for that resub. I really appreciate that. Uh, Glass Vortex, hello. Thunder, thank you for the five. Rastin, welcome in. Sheaves, welcome in. Dave, welcome in. It feels like POTD is quicker, if not easier, when you know what to do? Question mark. Everything in EO seems to live uh, so much longer. I think with uh, the, the original conversation, by the way, someone asked me which deep dungeon do I think is the easier. I think easier, right? Did they say easiest or the hardest? No, the hardest is solo. The hardest is solo. Um, I think if you're using information, EO is can be easy, but it comes down to if you're good at resolving mechanics. Because if you're not good at resolving mechanics, and that isn't to imply anything at all, because people will be different. Um, then it could be a difficult deep dungeon. If you're really good at, like, understanding what you need to do and remembering everything on the spot, uh, EO might be a little bit easier for you. Whereas POTD and F1 on high are a little bit more on the reaction, that you have to, you know, you could know all the information, but you still have to execute, um, and you still have to do things on the fly. I think EO is a little bit more, like, straightforward in terms of resolving things. I mean, you still have to do palm management and time management, but I think there's a little bit less, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit less of, like, um, what is required of you as a gamer to accomplish, um, like, actually, like, hitting the button, so on and so forth. Like, it's more of a memory game. And memory game isn't, again, implying that it's easier or harder, it just depends on what your strengths and weaknesses are. Um, like, like, one example, for, for instance, before I catch up in chat here, uh, we had, one of the ones I, I will not forget, is we had someone come in here asking me, or, like, you know, airing some frustration that they're having a hard time in EO because they have, like, severe ADHD. And it's like, they know what to do, it's just their focus is just bonkers. Like, they, they have a hard time focusing, which is one of the difficulties in Eureka Orthos, right? And, you know, to me, it's like, okay, you have a hard time focusing, so what do we what do we do about that? Like, what's the solution? What, like, how do, we, how do we try to get you to get through this content? That's how I look at it. Um, so yeah, it, it just all comes down to how you are going to interpret the information that will make it harder. But, you know, if you're asking me, if the, if the question is, if the question is, What's my opinion? Then that's my opinion. Um, you're good just twerking? Okay. Good to know. Thank you for sharing that. Um, Zemoka, thank you for the 24. That's two years. Thank you, sir. Um, glad to hear NA is getting a reprieve. Yeah, for today. I don't know about tomorrow. <laughs> I, don't know about, I don't know about tomorrow, but um, EU is getting hit again. So how hard is EO solo compared to yes so Ali I hope I, that kind of answered your question I hope you're listening to kind of that because I had the same exact question kind of uh as as uh the Ray came in um excited for H2 oh nice yeah yeah so so Zamoka are you gonna wait for um are you are you gonna wait for a uh, full release or are you gonna try to go for it I, t I got too good at Hades, one just from time on target and story sort of collapsed. Ah, interesting, interesting. Yeah, I'm sure that would have been an interesting conversation if you had covered that topic, extra credits, if you're still here about, like, you know, using that past knowledge of Hades 1 into Hades 2, you know. Uh, I know I've had discussions with my friends um, about, you know, whether they're going to try to get into, like, try early access or not. 
But I have I have my goals set up, so that's why I'm going for it. I'm taking the downtime between playing 14 to prep multiple characters for the DLC. I have five characters. Ooh, nice! Are you gonna stream it? Zamoka, are you gonna go stream it? Because I'm not dealing with... I'm not gonna be uh, touching the DLC. Of course, we'll have a week to, uh... We'll have a week to chill before the actual... Before the expansion comes out. So... Um... Only thing... Only hard thing about Deep Dungeon is it takes time to complete one. It's true. Well, yeah, and then, of course, it doesn't help when you're getting DDoS, like, every other hour. As someone with anime hit ADHD, you've seen me in action, I speak out loud what I'm doing, especially doing 180. Yeah, and, and Zamoka, that's what we suggested to the, to the, to the gamer. It's like, hey, like, I always kind of verbalize what I say. I mean, maybe you sound crazy, but it keep, but it keeps me focused, you know? I say all the mechanics out loud, I repeat my, my plan of action, I, like, I talk about it like I'm, you know, like I'm talking to myself, but it helps me focus a little bit more. I remember a situation where I decided not to say anything about a mechanic, and I was actually failing the mechanic on a boss because it was better for me just to say it out loud. So, um, I kind of want to start another SAM file, but need pray heaven on high, but need to get a handle seventy one set better. Fair. My biggest piece of knowledge is that I'm I'm swapping. Oh, interesting. I started off on controller, and I really like it on controller. I never try keyboard and mouse. Did they change the gameplay loop at all for Hades two? I can't tell you. Uh, I can't. I can't compare it to the first one. Um, doesn't stream well in my rig. Oh, gotcha. Okay, fair. I've been trying to get necromancers. Says Shada. Highest floor so far is one ninety, and these DDoS attacks recently have been not making it easy. Your videos and streams. Hey, I'm glad it's helping you. I'm sorry about the DDoSing. I understand. EU is just getting slapped all over the place. Um, so. Oh wait, I'll be. I'll still be here, even with DDoSing going on. I mean, I'm I'm testing the servers now, but we're on NA, so it just kind of depends on you know what your region is. Um, can't sit through the first 80 floors of Palace to save my life. <laughs> Fair. I got major hand strain from. Oh really? Damn. Um, I was starting to get a little fatigue because when they when they say, "Hey, your one button can now fire," you know. 20% faster. I'm like, oh, I guess I need to mash it 20% faster. <laughs> and I'm like, this kind of hurts me mashing it, but I want to hit more. Oh well. Although, like, only two games have, like, actually, like, fatigued my hand so far. I think, like, Stranger Paradise did that, and, like, the beginning of Rebirth did that to me. But then I got used to Rebirth. But, yeah, like, those games, like, Oh boy, I think Elden Ring actually, when I did it on controller for the first bit. Like fatigued my hand, but first one hundred floors appeared to D you can at least speed through. It's true. You got it, Shade. I I I'm sorry for about that DDoS. I wish I you know it's like I always wanna have some type of solution for like um I always wanna have a solution for uh you know anything going on. I can't do anything about the DDoS. Flagless says my voice volume's a little low. I apologize. I have I have adjusted my my microphone just a little bit. I think if I'm further away from the mic, it'll be a little bit lower. Um, but also, I was peeking on the microphone, so I mean, if anything, I might drop the you know if that's still a problem. I might drop the uh, the game volume. But yeah, I think there are times I'm just fading away from the microphone. To be fair, <coughs> thanks, Rift Tech. Yeah, no, I appreciate I appreciate the feedback. I'm trying to I'm trying to find a sweet spot again because I had a sweet spot and then I noticed that it wasn't. It wasn't that sweet. <laughs> and that's on my end. That's me realizing it, you know? Um, it's just high. Yeah, I like it high, though. But then, to be fair, like, I... I have balanced it a little bit different on OBS. Thank you for that. Gotta dash and find food. You're right back at you, man. Well, the runs goes to... I hope! Yeah, well, if, if it does, I'm just gonna hop into... I'm just gonna hop into DDoSing. Um, uh, DDoSing. I'm just gonna hop into Hades too. so... Mm hmm Yeah. And, like, a lot of times... <laughs> a little difficult too because it's like i have a way i want to listen to it but then you know i gotta be fair to everyone else too just hop into <laughs> yeah i'll just go to eu boom be constantly struggling us down yeah it, it was something i noticed when i was doing some of my videos like two weeks ago i was peeking on the microphone pretty bad um so i started making some changes and i mean it's like, it was fine for like X amount of years on, on stream. Also, I had swapped OBSs recently, so I had to, you know, do it all over again, so. 
I got a slider in my end so I can turn up the volume for me, but not others. Yeah, yeah, I have a slider that can do the other way around, too, that I can adjust it for when you guys hear. Um, but again, it's like, it's like, all I look about is if my microphone is louder than my game. Because sometimes I do like the game sound louder than, than anything, but of course, that's me. Yeah, I think I just have it on OBS. OBS has a mixer here that I'm looking at that I can just change the volume thing. That's what I do. To balance it out. Like, if I if I crank up my microphone, it's probably going to start peaking. I have it, like, a little bit lower. You can talk about it if you want to. Uh, I'm either too loud or too quiet, according to a few. But I, I think sometimes for me it's also because, um... Oh, really? Oh, really? I think for me it's... I kind of go away from the microphone sometimes, so it doesn't help. I actually was using Streamlabs, um, Miss Alchemy, for years. They didn't update, it broke everything. Like, literally, I couldn't use the program anymore. So I had to swap over to regular OBS, which really I wanted to do for the longest time, but it's hard to change. I mean, it's hard for any change, right? Um, but I think from there, I've still had to figure something out. All right, let's hop into the next set, and we can continue. I'm gonna raising here. I have one raising, but I'm raising here because we have to do double pulls. I'm also gonna have to hit an ad here. So those uh, going to see the ads, I will catch you in about three minutes. So see you in a little bit. Thank you for watching. But we will step into fifty-one. Thanks, Ludar. And we'll see. I hope. My uh, my escape is a Hades too, so I'm not gonna be really upset by that. <laughs> it's like, oh well, I get to play a game I want to play. Ooh, me. I'm raising here. Okay. So, I need to be careful if I pull any Ymirs. I can pull Sprites, which will probably be the easiest ones here for the double. I can pull right away. Double Witching? Fog. So again, the... So we are doing, like, a double challenge here. Um, I am doing this without regen potions, but on top of that, I am going to force myself to double pull every single engagement. Um, and then, on top of that, we're going to try to make sure that we kill them all at the same time. To kind of, you know, give the double pulling a little bit more value. And so that's why you're going to see what I'm doing. This is really unnecessary, uh, especially if you're doing it on, like, an actual run. But we're doing this for fun. Adding this to the challenge. He's actually hurt. I'd have to even consider steals at some point. Um, what is that? Okay, let me check the other rooms first. What's my favorite job in EO? Shit. Hold on. Um... You know, I really enjoyed the Samurai run and the Paladin run. Those two have been were a blast to do. Maybe those? I'll take those. guys are gonna do a double... I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead! <laughs> okay, cool. I was totally in that AoE. Why raising? Oh, I also killed that a little too soon. I didn't have sprint though. I gotta stop running through enemies. Oh, I'm out. Okay, good. I'm about to do another pull. 
Give me a raising though. I would love a raising right now. Double safety. Nail next to storms. Well, after the fact, yes. <clears throat> wait for the, uh... Wait for the shark to get on here. As I jump into the shark. I think I would have freaking Narnia through that pool. What the hell? Ymir. Really prefer not to pull these guys. Oh. Maybe not so bad. Not so bad because I have to alternate on them anyway. Definitely do that. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But I would really prefer not to do that again. Jumping into walls. Okay, Ice Sprite and uh, Oceanus. Two Ice Sprites would be good. Preferably. Sight is also good. Storm and no healing floor. Since you can't pull mobs without killing them, I could provoke and pull them. <laughs> if you really want to be fancy, Mr. Willow Greed. There's no playable. No, 
though they won't aggro, because they're low HP, so you can't aggro them. So that doesn't actually work. Oh, true. There you go. Yeah, 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 there you go. I could do that. But no, if it's like that situation, I'm not gonna be strict on that. It's just a free floor at that point. I should, I should strength again, but let me wait till the next floor. I'm not out. Alteration. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, no. Sometimes, you know, you know, I take things seriously, Mr. Willow Green. So, you know, but no, I, I had thought about that situation. But I think there's a couple things I can let loose. <clears throat> it's fine. Not a big deal. Less curse than a monk having to pull a faint. <laughs> hey, you know the big, the big topic that uh, we're, we've been kind of going through is is Viper gonna have a range attack? Up, up, up. Interesting. If they don't, it's gonna be wild. I'm gonna love it, but it's gonna be wild if they not range attack. <clears throat> I actually prefer it doesn't have a range attack. Just because of the challenge for defense. Like it doesn't I don't even think it matters for ra for like raiding. Like I don't know how how monks are without having a range attack and raiding, but I imagine you no, know, I mean I can't imagine, but I like to think it's less of a detriment than it is for defense. Yeah, I know it, it its purpose is it makes sense. I mean in raiding, when you have monk and chakra, I mean that's what it's that's what it's for. It, it makes sense, but so that's why, like, the idea that Viper won't... The, the, the idea that Viper could not have a range attack would be viable, because you would approach it like a monk, where you, you would be doing something during downtime. Um, you know? I mean, not a bad opportunity to also let Monk be uh, not alone with not having a range attack. But, I, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't... I really wouldn't put my money down on... It not having a range attack, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put a bet on it, but it wouldn't surprise me. Still holding out hope that level eleven monk is is clan with a. Since Viper release Viper without range attack and give Monk a range attack. <laughs> the, the level a level 100 range attack, dude. So I mean that would be hilarious. What's what's that? Is that a shark? What is that? Oh, that's a Ymir. Okay. Kankla is a shoe that people beat. Oh. So you throw the shoe. Gotcha. Do you like actually lose the, the physical shoe though? That's the case. Hey, Dalto. Hey, thanks for the follow. Ooh. I think my life is... Imagine me getting stunned when that thing AoE is coming out. Could be me. Oh, got my double pull. Hoggers. Strength? I don't think I use the strength.
You get a range attack, but lays two stacks. Like, permanently? <laughs> or like a cooldown. Actually, slides or sandals. I'm learning. So they can take other four things. Gotcha. Hey, Swig, how you doing? Spanish for oh, Spanish for flip flop. No, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I just used? I don't know what I used. I have no idea what I just used. What I used? The fortune. Okay. <laughs> I was stuck on the thing. I don't even know what is going on. Right, we have the vision. I was trying to home gank for so long I couldn't do it. I was stuck in the uh, I was stuck in the menu for uh, what do you call it? For uh Bombs, that's why I couldn't do anything. It's so <laughs> practicing for the blind old gun. Um, I think I take this. To do anything else here, that's nice. Um, there's a clip of mom sniping her kid with one of one from a crazy distance. <laughs> Sni sniping her kid. I love I love that sentence. Um, I'm mainly just excited for Red Mage. I know I I know a couple of my mutuals are very excited about Astro. So um, see how that goes. I'm I mean I'm excited about Astro. I mean I'm sure we know a certain someone who's excited about Astro. We're not excited about Astro. I don't know. Similar to me, to other jobs in 14, the two masters based on a similar job that appeared previously in the series. FF5, the you know, Latino mother sent. You know, it was the Latino mother, and six, it was a. Look at our. They are big inspirations for the new. <laughs> a lot of lore, right? Right, right on the spot. Oh, I the storm. Too bad I used the fortune un uneventfully. Um, wait. But I will fortune. Save me. You know, that does make me. I, I think I was trying to figure out, like, I was trying to figure out. You know what order of jobs I want to play to prepare for Viper. Dragoon should be one of the first ones because it might be the last time I ever play that form of Dragoon. So we're definitely, definitely gonna do a Dragoon run at some point. Uh, that joke might take a Google, might take a Google to pay off, but I stay in my <laughs> send off run. Maybe, maybe I time it, and you know what? I like that idea. Maybe I time it as one of the last runs we do before Dawn Trail. I like that idea. The final time you'll- the final day of Dragoon. I like that. Okay. Deal. Really? <laughs> Come on. Okay, well, since I didn't kill you, let me check the chest first. Alter. Which 
searching. I'll check the map in case something drops. Negative, alright. I think this was a steal. Yep. Still looking for a raising. I really would like a raising for the next set and then maybe one for 71. But 71 I should get them back. It's just the next set. That's what I would like it to be. Uh, Quirin, thank you for all the content you put out. Got my first POTD solo kill last week! Congratulations! I credit your stuff to... I credit your stuff to me not having to do as many attempts. Hey, I'm glad it helped. Welcome to the club. Seems like you dodged some of the server issues, so that's even a bigger... a bigger win right there. So let's go, dude. Thanks for sharing that. Another one right there. Got another one. Here we go. Thanks for coming in and sharing that... sharing that over here. Appreciate it. And I am proud of you. What job we do it on? We do it on Machinist. And how was the how was the climb? Was it was it was it clean? Was it messy? Was it was it a memorable one? Always love hearing that. Come here, grab it. I got it on Wednesday, where there was magic people weren't any server issues. Damn. Genius, of course. First set at the start because of how- because of low palms. But managed to get through somehow. You game. You game. You game hard. That's how you got through. You use every bit of your knowledge and your- your ability to play the game and you pulled it through. Yeah, see, a lot of- there are some people who kind of feel bad about some of their clears. Like, oh man, you know, the game gave it to me, I was so lucky. But I'll be honest, like, I think a lot of the guys that may have felt that way, first and foremost, you don't have to feel bad because you worked your ass off for like 13, 14 hours just to get that high. I think that alone has commendations, right? But also, like, I think you're- I think if you weren't given such a lucky run, I think at some point you probably would have pulled it off. Even on that, even on that run, just with less palms or something, because you have a lot of skill. You you, you gained a lot of knowledge in the content for you to even you even like you know get that far. It counts for something, you know. But it is exciting when, in your case, you started off with a bad loadout and you just played till the end. That's satisfying. I love those runs. Those runs are probably the ones I, I I kind of remember a little bit more than the ones where we kind of breeze through. I mean, a win's a win at the end of the day, but still, they're nice. Had one shank, one steal, going into those floors, but luckily picked up two more steals. Nice, yeah. I love the clutch steal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a red mage run where he was basically I was gonna wipe if I didn't pull the steel and I pulled the steel. And I was just like, well, <laughs> thanks game. That's all I needed. Well, I guess part of deep dungeons shouldn't feel bad about lucky run. I think it's I think it's um I think it's perfectly fine to feel bad about it to some extent, but certainly not to to bring down your accomplishment, right? You know, I mean there definitely is going to be a variance of the ways you clear, and sometimes, yes, the game just hands you the win, but still, like, the, the thing that I always like to bring up as a scenario, I mean, bring that same exact file, bring that same exact situation to, like, a random person in Limsa who's never done Deep Dungeon before, I guarantee you they're not clearing, <laughs> you know? Guarantee. Um, especially if they haven't done the content before, so there's a lot that goes into it that uh, you built up to get to that point. And, um, you know. Oops. I didn't even see you there, what the hell? Just 
Because I think it's equally as dangerous. Um, and I saw this discussion in the other in the other D dungeon Discord, where if you let's say fail a run, and then all you're kind of attributing to it is like, well, if I just had better palms, I would have done better. And that's like I think equally as dangerous, right? Because then you're you're putting a lot of weights into the value of luck. And there is a value of luck, it's just, in my opinion, not as high as you should put it. But there's just so much execution in this content that has to happen. Luck adds a little bit of flavor to it, it's like a seasoning. But you do a lot of things in here on your own. Decision making, gameplay execution, you know, so... I'm hoping there wasn't a patrol coming this way, because I don't want to deal with that patrol. New D4 season- yeah, I know, I might- oh man. I'll deal with it. I might start it up tomorrow. Maybe stick Hades to the stream only, I'll see. But I do want a really good good at Hades, so that's the only thing. We'll see what I want to do. I may dabble with it. I'm kind of wanting to extend my Hades- my Hades playthrough a little bit more. Because I've been putting a lot of hours into it. Um, and I don't want to burn myself out right away. Like, I was- I, I'm, I was ready to play Hades today, if the servers were gonna be weird, right? Um... I mean, so far they're great, so I don't have to complain about that, but... Do you know what time it starts tomorrow? For a D4? I don't think you're gonna see me stream Diablo 4, like, at all. I'd love to talk about it. Yo, what up, Ross? At this point, I hope I just don't get super unlucky again 191. I believe. What are the experiences learning what, you, what your win-lose condition is and how to play around as best you can? Yeah, and what Willow said, is it's, it's very subjective. I mean, it's not going to be the same for everyone. It really isn't, you know? Um, you don't get through 200 if you don't manage to get to 190 to begin with. Exactly. You better... The better you get... The better you get, the more times you might think you are handed the win. Yes! Yep. I love these quotes. These, these quotes are great. All it takes is one server hiccup though, it got me nervous. Dude, I, um, yes, that, that is all it takes for me to... Shit. Double pull it is. Ross, hope you're having a good day today, sir! I know there's like ya a Yabi that could be behind me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't think it's that close, but okay. Lost one wanted to go over 10 minutes, 10 second lag spike. Still, yeah. I mean, if you're on EU, it's very dangerous to probably do deep dungeon. So just be very careful. Uh, today, it just seemed like the forecast was good. So, I am going to just go for it today. Because currently, I'm still just doing 14 on Sunday and Monday. Maybe more, once we get closer. I mean, well, obviously, we're gonna get into it pretty big once the like, expansion comes out, but... I'm kind of keeping my... my gas for 14 on the reserve, so that we'll go hard once the expansion comes in. Not to mention, I have a couple games I really want to play. Always blame the devs. Hey, thanks for the thanks for making so many guys in the Dungeon community. I unfortunately wiped to 99 on my second series of time attempt last week. I'm excited to put some of the knowledge I've absorbed to practice in my next attempt. Awesome, 199, badass. Let's go, dude. You're right there. Um, I think someone asked it. Oh god, damn it! Really? Uh. Hold on.
I'm alternating between them because if I don't get the stun resistance going in, the stun diminishing return, if it becomes a problem. I have to worry about time just a little bit. Can I get through this one without aggro? Questionable. God damn it. You know, I have to find something else to pull. I should have just pulled this with the others, but I wouldn't have had a I wouldn't have had a interrupt. Um Any servers? Nothing on NA so far, Ross. I've been pretty clean today, so thank you for asking. I made some mistakes on my own inexperience. Um Uh, used up too much stuff on 198. Ended up not knowing how to deal with the chest room. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I was gonna ask, like, how did your 199 go? Because, man, like, it tells the tale of the story of how the run's going. Shit. Oh. That's not good. Um, but that's, that's good. That, like, you know, you're very close. You got that far. You saw everything, which is really huge. Catch up the chat in a second. So. so I am trying to abide by the challenge. Um, obviously, it was completely unnecessary for me to hunt down this mimic here. Um, I'm sorry to hunt down this Ymir when I did the pull, but we're trying to keep it to double pull, so I forced myself to do it. I definitely this will be under don't do this at home. <laughs> definitely a don't do this at home situation. This isn't even optimal for scoring. Oh. I was in a bad spot there. Fine, we're warrior. What's the big deal? <laughs> I could have died from infatuation. Probably. I also forgot I had shape. Oh. Tail screw is spicy. I ran into the wrong direction. I thought I was gonna be safe in the in the area I was going to, but it was a dead end, so I had to just eat it. <clears throat> so many raids, but now I know how to take my time better and not go too fast really. Yeah, I mean look, going fast is fine, but if you're using things to go fast, there's a there's a balancing act there, right? Um so, but yeah, later floor is a little bit harder, usually in Palace of the Dead. Outside of having to deal with the, the corpse patrols, of course, that's that's always the wild card is the corpse patrols. Went too fast, use a rager, I think cost you. I, yeah, I mean, you know, things like that can happen. Probably take one leech. Uh, bombfish, leech. Okay. No, let's do bomb. Let's do bomb. How many do I have? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Unless one diagras, which you could. Two crabs. Uh, I'll deal with this.
three double pulls. It is lethargy, so I'm taking advantage. Except that one. Getting attacked by seafood. Oh great! I did everything just to get hit with this anyway. Is there another one? There was another one. That's fine. There was another one. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Void. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day today. Oh, that wasn't the exit. I thought this was the exit this entire time. I don't know why I keep doing that. It's like, I've done that so many times where I got to the end of the room and I'm like, okay, exit's here. But I never actually looked if that was the, ex the exit. That might aggro. Yabi. Light? Yeah, sure. Would have been nice earlier, but oh well. Should go for that chest, but I'll just go. I think that's abilities. Which would be a bit of a problem. Especially without having potions, abilities would kind of be bad, so I might serenity this. I will serenity this. I really prefer not to pull the Zeraton, so I would not I will not pull this. Also been a slate. If I get a landmine, I might utilize it. Watch for the scorpion in that other- oh, I'm sorry, the monk in that other room. That's gonna be one enemy that would be one I would prefer to avoid because if they stagger their full ends, I'm gonna be really in a bad spot. Like, I'd want something maybe that doesn't have a telegraph, which would be kind of this- this fish dude. Be a good pull. I make it. Okay, bless. Um, there is a chest there. Okay, okay. This would be the better combination to fight, but I have to fight to like the safe response. The last song, it's all. I'm excited, yo, I'm excited, Zamoka. The Dawn Trail OST, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty badass, I, I like to think. I 
think I'm more excited also for the music that could come out with um, the later bits of the expansion when we get to Arcadia and all that stuff because I feel like that's gonna be more up my alley of the type of music I probably will like in comparison. But that bit I'm excited for. Hoping I can get one of my current files past 190 at all. Usually I die or have low time and can't be tempted much. I believe so. You can do it, man. Believe? Uh, I need to get the steel. Yeah, like, cyberpunky type of vibe is definitely something I really, really like. Um, so I would really be excited for that music to come in, personally. I know I have people that don't like it, but I love it. I love that theme. Nice dread. First dread of the day. <clears throat> After two expanses of mythical raids. Yeah, that's a that's a fair point too. Um, I mean, to me, I I don't. That's that's a territory that I don't particularly have too much of investment on. Um, but in terms of like environmental atmosphere, all that stuff, music. Like, I don't know, like, if anyone's playing Honkai Star Rail, which I'm pretty big in, um, really, really enjoyed the current, the current area that they're in, Pinakoni, because that's, that's exactly, like, you know, that, that vibe that, that I kind of like a lot. I mean, Cyberpunk, of course, the game, was also, like, just right up that alley, too. So, awesome. So time is a little sus. Um, I'm still not in the territory of kind of figuring out if I need to do something right now. But we are getting a little dangerous with time. Especially when I'm not off the floor yet. Shit. Okay, well, I'm gonna find something. Bombish? I can stun the bomb fish if needed. I'll take the bomb fish. Especially because I have it staggered. done a wombo combo on me. Good thing I did the the arm snake there. Would have done it. I had a feeling it was gonna try to slam it. Just a gut feeling. Risky, but <laughs> be good. It's fine. Everything's fine. How nice of the Mandeville weapon to already match the next raid tier. Yeah, I do like the I do like the Ann Walker relic a lot. Um, well, I'm I'm biased because of blue, but it's uh it is very nice looking. Sound effect, everything. Reminds me, I gotta see if my tones are capped. I gotta make sure I use them. Okay, damage down, storms. Debatable, maybe. Because my time is a little sus at the moment. And it's a big maybe because the pulls are not going to be great from here on. I mean, we have two things that double that, that will all do scout control. So, um, might be better for me to either lethargy or do something to eliminate them. Bro, pick a direction. Mm. 
Also, I do need to mind that I did... Oh. I... Okay, that's the answer. Wait, did I not pick it up again? I didn't pick it up again. I need to go get it. Mine and Zeraton and a uh, Mimic together. Another steel. Good evening, next Sandia, how you doing? How's everyone? I am doing great, thank you for asking. I hope you're having a great Monday, start of the week, if that applies to you. I'm forgetting I didn't do anything to this floor. Like, just walking in the middle, like, with no concern for anything. Okay, Corrigans are good. Three kills. Une. to move a little bit faster. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's probably gonna be a flight or a storm. It's more than likely a storm on the next floor. I think a storm is gonna go out. Gotta be the fastest way I can get off the next floor. You want those club coasters when you buy it? Do it, man. You know, the merch store, we have a, a freaking amazing artist for the merch store. Looking to make a couple more things in the future, too. Um... Eureka Orthos eventually coming, and a couple other ideas that, that we had in mind, so... And, uh, if you get anything from the merch store, from our, our personal merch store, um, you're supporting myself and the artist. So, pretty, pretty nice deal. I split all the, uh, I split all the earnings with the, uh, with the artist.
Yeah, it's probably gonna be a storm. I thought it'd be out by now, but... Who's faster, Une or me? Apparently Une, but I gave her a little bit of help. Could be worse, could be better. Finally feeling motivated to do some mental roulette. If I do see that I don't lose my progress, I know. Yeah, it's a mood. We're in here because I got some clearance on, uh, on NA that we're good to go, so... I had to kill everything. Getting a little concerned on time now. Just a little concerned on time. This has to be solo. The only thing here. Everything had to die in this floor. Damn. Okay. Um. I may strength. Strength for the boss when I'm already using a demi. Ugh. Yeah. I don't like it. You don't have a choice though. Something just respawned. I think behind me. I think I heard a respawn behind me. So which means I've been here for 10 minutes. Maybe? Oh no, that was Une casting. Okay. I don't think I was here for 10 minutes. No knockback is actually good. Switching is also convenient. A landmine isn't nearly convenient as well. Close the mimic. Use your thing. because it's going to be a little bit of a spicy pull. Probably gonna have the strength and Doga. Well, a Doga's a guarantee, but I have to pick up the strength here. <coughs> now, do I need the dread? Is the question. Probably not. But we'll see. The same. for the fight. Hell yeah. Hey Sari, how you doing? Happy Monday. Okay on time. Gonna alternate.
Oh god damn it, I don't have onslaught. Rip. Crazy for the next set, so it's gonna be pretty fun there. By fun, I mean not fun. We'll, we'll stay with challenge. Appreciate it. So far, the luck in terms of the servers are going pretty decent, that's for sure. I think we're solid on time. We just fell under 30%. It's only 3 minutes going, so we're good. The question is, did I need the strength? Eh, maybe. Not sure. I don't think I regret it though. Alternating. Earlier today was okay. Yeah, I heard. It's it's okay on NA. This is this is the reason I'm here. I was I was trying to see what what everyone was saying, and I was hearing about I was hearing about EU, but NA seems to be good. So uh, we are we're going for it. This is definitely a case to case basis. Um, you know, like I I don't know if I I don't know if I have the personal confidence to be like, hey, you guys should do deep dungeon. Like, no. Save your, save your stress for something else. <laughs> Play some other game for now. I don't even want to recommend, like, hopping into, like, Oceanic region, because, like, it just doesn't feel great to play with high ping, you know? So, it's not even, like, a valid, it's not even a valid solution. Escape the Oceanic, but, like, a lot of things need to go right for deep dungeon on the foundation, let alone let alone uh, the run itself, you know? Okay. Okay. Alright, so my only concern on the next set now is going to be I don't have, uh, I don't have, um, raising. So we'll just have to be as careful as possible. Better safe than sorry with the strength. Yeah, I guess. That's that's basically that's basically that sentence right there, Astra, is basically how I phrased it in my brain. I guess. <laughs> I like the last bit, I guess. Um so. Sage? Wait, is that a is that a sage? What is sage? Isn't that an Astro? But the summoner, even worse. Oh, what why did you think that was a sage, Willow? Aren't you a sage expert? What's wrong with you? Um, after getting a taste of POTD with 99.99 and sustaining push, I'm addicted. I even want to go for a sage run. Oh, he said sage. Oh, okay, I didn't read. Uh, I didn't read Dev's uh, thingy. Okay, I, I I rescind my my diss at, at Willow. He is a perfectly amazing human being across the pond. There, I rescind it. Uh, I can imagine we DC Pokeball four times in in uh, Shadowbringer Alley raid, and then it was time to raid. Again. Yeah. Yeah, like yesterday, Christy. Um, I was gonna do I was gonna do uh, deep dungeon yesterday, uh, but NA was having problems, and the last one I saw like thirty minutes before I go live, our buddy Lake uh, said he disconnected in Eureka Orthos ninety. But the the worst part about that was that he his entire party disconnected. He was going in with a group with like FC or friends or something. His entire party disconnected, so they lost the file. <laughs> And it's like, the chances of that. It, it's like, all you need is one person to be in there. And it's okay, right? You can just, just let the guys come back in. Nope, the whole party. So, um, what can you do, right? I mean, that's just, that's almost, that's basically catastrophic. So we, we did some Hades 2 yesterday. Um, how they DC'd at the administrator. It, it's, um, it's appropriate, you know. <laughs> it's appropriate. Alright, let me take a restroom break here, guys. Um, I will stand up stretch. You guys can stand up stretch as well. We'll hit some ads out. And we'll step into 61. I'm a little terrified at 61. I tend to raising here. And a lot of things here are a little bit spicy doing double pulls. But uh, this is what I've signed up for. So we'll try our best. So thank you for watching. Get some background music going. Not bad. See you in a little bit.
Okay. Bring it back. Um, last year I was doing Heaven on High group with some friends. I DC'd on 89 for a minute, and the other three managed to die without you. <laughs> it all it all goes south once the leader drops, you know. Um, times would be like that, you know. Uh, one second here. I'm gonna move my PNG tuber over a little bit. There we go. Now it bothers me a little less. Okay. Um. Thanks, Mola. Yeah, yeah, getting to the higher levels of Palace is always the common, the common hatred of Palace, but I think there's still a good satisfaction of pulling it off, you know? Okay, um, my things are capped, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now, I'll do it post-stream. Alright, let's get through, uh, this set, which I'm a little terrified, like I said, because at 61, I don't have a raising. Fire best, that's all I can do. Ooh. Double pull is all the way. Great start. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with the Diplos. I'm gonna have to figure them out. I mean, I could just storm this place, which is a fair point to do right now. next. I might- I might try to storm like the first two floors here so I can get past the stupid Diplos and then we can just do it normally after that. That might be what I try to readjust in terms of my strategy through here. I'm gonna lose so much time trying to just avoid the stupid evasion. Watch out for the snake elbow drop. Yeah, I know, I'm being so careful, like, not going directly behind it and stuff. Like, I'm extra terrified just because of the lack of, uh, reason. I had an ad in French for an entry company. I live in UK. Damn, they're trying to take over, man. How do you feel about that? Oh, Dread, nice. Nice. I can just 
work this room. Uh, timing might be bad. Oh my god, timing was terrible. <laughs> what, what dumbest timing I've had. I can't believe I did that. Why did I even bother? Same. Thanks. I don't know what- I have not paid attention to the ads I get on Twitch. At all. So I don't know what I get. Alright, so in this case I'm gonna pull- I'm gonna kill this one first and then do the terror. Only because, um... I already have a problem with the first one anyway, so, uh, do that one. Here we go. And I love this. My favorite fight of the game. I get Dutch ads a lot and I don't speak it, nor do I live there. I wonder what it determines. I guess maybe, I mean, is that common for you guys to receive, like, other country ads in, like, normal television, or no? I imagine you get the appropriate language, the appropriate language ads. Oh my god, this is dumb. This is so dumb. <laughs> Just be VPN usage. Oh, that's true. That could be a thing. That's right. Because it sets your region that way. Okay. Oh my god, this is dumb. I hate everything right now. I can't even heal back with a uh, blood weddling. our language, not even add some countries the same language. That's wild. Yeah, I mean, Europe is just it's, it's interesting, for sure, with how they, I guess, distribute it over. I don't know what they determine it by. No? This is dumb. Really, really dumb. I'm not even out of here yet. go to the Diplo. Just in case he gets the evasion bonus, I don't have to deal with that shenanigans again. Like I did Good enough. I think he's still in it. Oh no, he's not. So Spend 10 minutes on this floor. Yikes. <clears throat> Big yikes. Okay, that took a year. What we got there? 
I'm gonna probably Storms the next two. Or at least use an Une or something. Maybe I'm gonna Une here. Get a Demi Clone out of the way. Une, immediately. He got the buff? Oh, no way, he got the buff? God damn it. I thought he avoided it. That's been miscalculated. I have to make sure that Une gets on the... She gets on the Mata Mata first, because then she can deal damage, she won't miss. Didn't do that for her. Okay, just one. Okay, now I'm gonna deal with the Cobra while she does the Mata Mata. Can you not, Ninja? Thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. Yamiku, thank you for that. And she almost has it down. Watch the back of the Cobra. Alright, it's down. Now I can focus in again on the two that I have. Watch another patrol show up and then ruin everything. went uh, as smooth as it could possibly go. Exits here. Wait. I love fighting three at a time. It's my favorite pastime. I said double pull, not triple pull. I like fight somewhere else at the moment because I don't want to step into a trap in any this room. Okay, I'm gonna fight the Terok now while she does the Pay attention to you though.
Hey, I'm out. Um, I might check the other adjacent rooms first, and then we'll go. Please don't go this way. Just... A dip blow is blocking it. I can't do anything about that. Alright, we're just gonna go. Went from about 9 minutes on the first floor, and then we did like 5 minutes here, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna... Storm the next one. And then we'll go from there, however the game wants to do things. I hate these first three floors, man. Steel's actually really good. is actually really good to you. Flight's great. Okay, so time's gonna start to get back in order here, which is really good to see. There's a monk run failed yesterday. Full world crash hurts this more than all. Uh, yeah, I know. The servers have been wonky, especially in EU, and uh, yeah, it's not been great, that's for sure. Right now, I'm just, you know, gambling that uh, we'll be okay today. Today, it's also bad. EU was pretty bad today. NA was bad yesterday. Um, I think I, I think I de aggroed something. Am I missing someone? Is it a ninja? Yeah, I did a or something. Wow, I needed everything on this floor! Oh my god. That was the most valuable storm I've done in a while. <laughs> Fingers crossed they- Yeah, I mean, hey, look, if I disconnect here, this run is whatever. I'm just farming- I'm just farming fragments right now, so... I mean, it sucks for you guys more than it would suck for me. I get to swap over to a different game. I guess I'm not necessarily complaining, but, uh, I would like to complete this and get this on, uh, on the YouTube. Um, still dealing with Diplos. I don't really want to have to fight these guys, because they're such a time waster, especially when I have to do two. Can they just stop or someone else claim? I don't know. I, I, I wish they would just stop, yes. But I don't know. Um, I guess they don't want to stop. I mean, this has probably been the longest I've seen a DDoS attacking uh, that I've been that I've been witness to in this game. I think I stormed it. Can we do another lethargy here? Oh, I needed to do a lethargy. Is EO also 100? EO is also 100 floors, yes. EO is 100 floors. Hey, Terror, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Oh, witching. Convenient. Um... I may consider that. Well, maybe not. It is flight adaptable. Kinda forgot it was flighted to be fair, but it's not a big deal. The amount of time I'd still waste by trying to fight those things, so I think it's, it's still better that I decided to storm that. I need a secondary pull here. 
We check the chest. No. That works for me. <laughs> yeah, he was in, the, in an interesting spot there. Oh, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. What can you do? What can you do? I've been watching you live, been watching you guys for ages. Yo, welcome in. I, this is like, this is the hour that I like to call the EU, the EU hours. Because we're, this is the only time of the, the week that I would go to stream this early. Um, so it's actually nice to see a lot of you guys, because I think a lot of you just can't do the other the other time slot, which is fair. I get it. Can't even attack, dude. Really? Your timing is impeccable. Let me tell you. Welcome in, Terror. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Oh my god, the timing. I can't, man. I should have saved the stun. I knew I should have saved the stun. They're like lined up right now. you make sense yeah 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 so mondays i'm really gonna try my best to you know keep it to 14. today would have been iffy because of the servers but i like this time slot with, with uh doing 14 content it is pretty nice all right do it again Me you start at 7 p.m. while the other times. Yeah, well, yeah, my normal schedule, 9 p.m. Eastern, that's like what? 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, like 2 or 3 a.m. start time for you. I mean, I'm blessed at the fact that like a lot of you, a lot of the EU gamers still kind of show up for some of those streams, whether it's like the very beginning or like the tail end when you're like going to, going to work or something. That's so badass. But, um, yeah, I, I had been doing variety on this time slot for like a year and a half, but. You know, I wanted to change it up a little bit, and I, I've liked this change so far. The monitor should be fine with an option pool here. Better than the freaking Mimic, that's for sure. start streaming in my time zone so today's stream i am currently sh i start stream at 3 p.m eastern that's like the earliest i would go on a normal schedule um like for instance for like early access on on dawn trail i will wake up the moment the servers are i, I will be i'll be online the moment the servers go up I'm, i do make exceptions i can make exceptions but for like a normal weekly schedule yeah, this is the earliest I would go, 3 p.m. Usually, like, I have lunch, I chill a little bit to digest, and then here we are. Gonna have to AoE pull. I mean, AoE heal.
I'm not out. I think this will be six kills. Four? No, I think this is six. Or four, I don't know. Okay, bless. Um, I'm gonna try to go for this. No, wait. Yes, I could, because I could use an onion knight. <laughs> Get wrecked. Three points. Yeah, I think three points. Yeah, true. And and by the way, so a lot of times that can happen. That combination to actually kill you. But that is something that I, um, that I mentally set up for. That I was gonna walk up to that silver chest, wait literally two seconds, two full seconds, and then touch the chest. And that's why I went up there, I waited. And then of course it went, went off, and then I checked my HP, and then I went in, so... That, that was something that I was, I did very strategically, if you will. Perfected would be good to run around with. We like the Monday stream, I get Deep Dungeon in the background to get through the last few hours of the workday. Keep that in mind, you know, it's this has been a time slot that I would say is still kind of experimental uh, in some in some ways. Um, but I mean I I'm also very aware that um, I'm very aware that 14 in general and in, in the Twitch directory tends to be a little bit more popular in this time slot overall. But, you know, it, it comes down to, like, can I pull it off with my own schedule so on so forth. But, uh, I do appreciate these, uh, the commentary on that. And I don't have, like, a... I don't have, like, a really... big method of trying to, uh, trying to switch, like, a lot more of my, my stream to that time slot, but... Wouldn't necessarily be against it. It's just I have to look at that. At least, you, at least like in Dawn Trail, that first week is going to be kind of just random. Like when I'm able to stream, I will. If I'm not tired, I will. Kind of thing. So, I'm gonna kill this first just because I can't see the telegraphs. And I'll handle this one next. We could be off with the DT. Yeah, I mean I'm gonna be going hard. I mean if if you guys don't know. Um, around these parts, around our channel. Um, if you want to watch Twitch for 14, have it in the background or something, but you don't want to watch spoilers, I got you covered. Because I do not do main story on stream. I've never done main story on stream. I have no intention of doing it on stream. And um, we're going to be doing strictly Deep Dungeon. All the, We're going to do Viper Pictomancer. We're going to try a new Dragoon, new Astro. We got content for like we got content for like months. Um, so if you wanna hop in here and just vibe with 14, but not really worry about spoilers, then I got you covered. Not even sure if I can play DT on release with German internet to be kicked in the queue. Oh, really? Is that a thing, or is that just like your location, Ash? Looking forward to pick up. Yeah, that'll be like. Maybe my second run, depending. Generally, how I'm gonna do it is, um... Hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. Me handle the thing. Um, hey Ripin, how you doing? Yeah, I mean, we're all kind of hoping that the DDoS thing will be over by the time, uh, by the time, you know, the expansion comes in. Like, like, I was kind of saying a little bit earlier, like, the optimistic way of looking in, it's maybe, like, you get it out of the way, maybe they learn about what's going on, they find ways to protect against it, and boom. Like, it would have been a lot worse if they started this off on the, uh, on the thing, right? On the actual expansion. That would be real bad. I'm 
taking care of this, uh, the Graro first, only because I can't see the telegraphs, and I think this would give me a very high chance of dying if I don't if I lose focus on this thing. What's my time? My time is actually pretty good. I went really fast the first two. Okay, we'll, we'll handle this solo. Um, let me catch up and chat a little bit here. Yeah, oh yeah, I was saying that, like, more than likely you see Palace maybe as my second run. I'm gonna be doing Heaven on High first in one of those jobs, and then I'm going to see how the community's doing. If there's any world first that are still waiting to be claimed, I might go into that one first. Otherwise, if, if let's say I do Heaven on High on one of the jobs, and then everyone claimed the world first, I probably do Heaven on High on the second job, and then we do Palace next. There's a logic to it, because I'm gonna use Deep Dungeon to level Picto and Viper to 81, or one of them to 81. Um, and then, and then we'll be able to take into Eureka, because I'd have to level it to 81 to get into Eureka. So I am gonna take the idea that some of the guys said to do some, uh, Wondrous Tales to get it prepped up two weeks before the expansion. Um, so if, if Eureka Orthos happens to be a, pri a higher priority, then I'll go for it. Um, but... Thank you, I want to be spoiler free and everyone I normally watch is doing main story and makes me sad. I want to support them, but it, I mean, it's understandable, Next Sandy. I mean, that's the main content. I mean, you see, that's what's going to show up, so it certainly can't blame them. Um, for me, I... You know, it's just it's just my preference. Uh, I mean, I care about spoilers too. I couldn't watch a single person, but I'm streaming, so I don't need to watch anyone. You know? So, um, yeah, I'll be handling the main story, kind of, uh... I'll be handling the main story offline. As much as I can. Oh, wait, that's what we uh, I need to... And also, like, I think I, I might have some of the mods here that are going to definitely protect against anyone talking about it. Like, I'm not gonna have any context, so it's even better. You know, I can't accidentally mention something, because I have no idea what's going on with the main story. Um, and usually, you know, especially with Endwalker, when we did Endwalker, it was really nice in here. Like, it, we just we just kept it strictly to, um, to just deep dungeon content or just kind of random things. Um, not really related to, like, new content, so it's really nice. So I'm hoping to keep the same vibe when DT comes around. So you'll have a safe spot over here. I'm doing great, thank you for asking. I hope you're doing a good time. Meanwhile, I currently locked out of the game due to beat. Oh no! Did they not fix that? Or were they in the process of trying to fix it? I know they said that they're gonna try to fix it, but um... I wasn't sure if they got to it yet. I'm terrified of this... of this pool. Like, what am I gonna do here? I could stagger them. I can deal with two phallic, but man, I don't know if I want to deal with a toad. Um... I'm willing to deal with a perfected and a frog, but not a phallic and a frog. Indeed, also, I would be hoping it's on SC doing it. I, I mean, I doubt it's on SC doing it, but yeah. Um... It's been rough for the DDoS thing, especially EU. EU, I think, has been, getting, been getting hit a lot harder than the rest of us, but everyone has been hit, which is so unfortunate, you know? Okay, I should be okay with this pull. The tricky part with this one is I need to be a little bit cognizant of me using inner release, because I may not see the sticky song at all. I need to be careful about that. Oh god, oh god. I didn't I didn't expect that to actually be bad. 
The reason why I per pulled the perfect because he might kick me out of the AoE, not into the wall. Into the AoE. <laughs> That's what I'm expecting more. I gotta make sure I angle myself then, to make sure that that comes up. That kind of scared me, because the timing of the of the body press was exactly when the spinning kick came out. I think I got kicked in by the, by the spinning kick. I could do two phallic and I could do another frog perfected. So let me do a frog perfected here. gonna wind up the primal grin on top of him. I think he was using spinning kick as I was gonna do that. Okay, at least this one will be a lot easier. Okay, come together, come together. Okay. Um, I was gonna try to work on PayPal to get in, but it was being a pain in the butt. Why oh, did you hear that? That sucks. The double whammy, he pulled you into a roundhouse kick. Yeah, he did. Can you imagine if enemies had the actual combo moves and well, they have- I mean, some of the abilities I feel like are designed for wombo combos. Um, it's just you're not typically multi-pulling at the same time. Man, like when you really think about some of the designs of these enemies, how they have full, like pushbacks and pull-ins and you know, like this one in particular, like imagine fighting a phallic again with a perfected and it kicks you out of its out of its safe range and it just pops open with the with the electrical whirl. It's like there are some that have these combos. Like, I just don't think they're um, they're as pronounced because you know a lot of the gamers take it very carefully. Um, but yeah, I mean that's kind of I think part of the fun of this challenge right now is like calculating these combinations of like what am I going to expect if I pull these two and this floor in particular I had to be very choosy about who I was going to go with because I could just imagine like. If I pulled the frog with a phallic, and then it did the body press, but then I ran out of body slam, and I ran too far, like, do I go in immediately? Do I, do I just, you know, I could stun, but 
I'm not gonna have that every time, so... Calculate <laughs> in a DDoS. Um, also true. <laughs> I'm gonna watch my time a little bit, because time is not great again. We'll see how this goes. Um, German internet is notorious for being very bad, really. But it's fine, I can watch it you. Yeah, well that sucks though. I hope it isn't bad, that's... Honestly, I, I would have thought German internet was a better than like American internet. I guess maybe it depends on where you live, of course. <clears throat> Let's see, frogs, a lot of frogs. Hello. So that's what I'm here for, fragments. So we're ready for uh, Dawn Trail. Ready for Dawn Trail. Oh shit. Well, um, Ortho, Ni Ortho Ninja does Death Boss win. So. If I can find it perfected, that would be ideal. I wouldn't want to have to deal with you. I need someone in that AoE. Give me a perfected, please. Someone to have a perfected. No, not that. I need one perfected, man. Come on. You may, I, it's just I can't predict this bull then. That's why I would prefer not to deal with these guys unless I had a bull. All I see are ninjas. Man. actually a good spot here. I get pulled in and I run backwards behind the tower. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's not, that's not bad. I like this. Oh, except when the ninja comes around. Ruins my life. The most dangerous is the frog. Okay. I think the rest of these I can dance around. Oh, except that. Rewatching probably. Do I want to? It's steel. Okay, two down, two down. Yeah, I guess taking out the particular enemy, which was the frog, was the better option there. Or the only option. I can dodge the rest of these AoEs as long as I stay within a small area for the Valak. When internet was out last week, someone came and looked at the stuff. Yeah, that's burned again like last time. Oh my god. <laughs> too much, too much, uh, too much gaming. 
Maybe. Maybe other reasons. I'm still not out. Okay. It would prefer not to deal with another frog. <laughs> Yeet. Um, there's a ninja here. I mean, I could fight a ninja. It's just... I might try to take it with me. Wait. Is there something else I could fight? There are. Okay, let me fight those then. Let's do... Yanala. The ninja. We're back in a scenario that I have to push pretty hard to... To, to get to, um... To get to the boss again, and I really need to go hard. So we might consider a dread. Um... Depending. I should be out of here maybe in like 10, but I really need time for the boss, so... I may use a dread to help me out. There. Maybe America and Germany are in the same boat. Yeah. I mean, I'm still, I'm still very happy. We had an internet issue on Thursday. I literally could not stream, and my upload was below one megabyte for like since like 9 p.m. until like the next day, and like. I was like really worried. I I couldn't get a tech in till Sunday, but then apparently I guess it was so bad that other people had complained, so they fixed it the day of. That was kind of nice, but uh, that was spicy, and that's now been the same the same problem in like two month period. So I'm kind of concerned I might show up again the precise time I needed to work, and that'll be really bad, you know. But I hope not. Boss my thing. Oh boy, I'm not out yet. Alright, let me see if I can... What is in there? Was it two phallic? There's a phallic here and a phallic there. Okay, let me do the phallic first. I mean, it's been clean for a while. I used to have really, really bad problems playing into it before. So I'm really happy that it's, uh, it's okay now, but, you know. But it, it, it is it is like <clears throat> almost almost very traumatic when I have any problems with the internet because I've had I had I had a lot of problems in the past and I have no option to change ISP which is the other issue that we have here because yeah I, I don't have any way to change like my servers at all I have to suffer with the one I have and just hope they do the job. Yeah yeah it, well it's fine now I mean I can stream you know. Apparently I had 54 drop frames, but I mean, that's, that's minuscule to like, you know, significant issues, but... I killed it a little bit too soon. I was hoping I was out from that initial double pull, and I saw the fight here, so more than likely we're gonna dread. Um, and the reason why it's gonna be a dread is because I can take it to the next floor and probably pop a Dune and use the vulnerability up so I can save a Doga for the floors. Um, I have to find the exit though, and I have to make sure that I actually get enough kills and then be able to use the red into the ball <coughs> for the double dip. I don't think I've seen it. No, I have. I think I've seen a strike. I can't remember. Did I pop the strike? Okay, you're safe there. Hmm, good floor to Dread because it's blinded. Saves me Serenity too. Uh, uh, Dread doesn't miss. The transformations don't miss in blind. Very nice. Um, but this situation is going to be a solid pick. Good thing I picked them up too. I need to locate the exit and then plan out route. Hits up. Steal again? I don't need to. 
Onion would be great to have because I haven't seen one yet. Be perfected. I'm taking these with me because they are the most easiest to, to kite around with, especially when I need to do the dread. A ninja? Oh, that's not what I want though. Um, I'm gonna ask you now I need to find the exit really fast, preferably, and preferably not aggro while doing this. Not the exit. Shit. Uh, that's not good. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Okay, good. I'm gonna have to do this here. I don't know if I make it to the boss. That would be the problem. Because I can't drag these with me anymore. I'm not switching. Could have used it as a damage boost. <laughs> That's a thought. I could have used that as a damage boost. Use them to kick me towards the exit. Alright, I'm committed. Should have enough time to get the the thing on the boss. Praying for a quick alliance where it gets voided, gets void arc. And gamers need void arc. I think I can get five casts off. One, two. Oh no, only two, only four. I'm gonna commit to Gune. Hope this is enough. on time, maybe. did alliance raid, which has been a long time since I have, but I wouldn't mind the near raids at all. That That is fun. At least it's aesthetically nice, the music's nice. I don't mind near raids. They are, I think they are longer though in Endwalker than they were before, but I do like them. I'm just gonna do it once and I'll do it, I'll do that, you know, once a week, once, etc. Just a day. Last second there. New is long AF. It's the entire hell. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like music. I'm in it for the music. Yeah, I think we're good on time. We're gonna be a little concerned once the vulnerability falls out, but... Good.
Okay, let's see how much time. Let's see how much we do per minute. Starting at five o'clock. The five minute mark. Let's see how much I do per minute. Okay, 47%. Let's see how we do. Ah, I think we're fine. Yeah, 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 we'll be fine. Probably, probably beat it with like maybe a minute and a half remaining on the clock, maybe. This time of night for you. There. That's fair. That's fair. Goes the stone. You can do it twenty. Yeah, well, I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're gaining time every 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 minute cycle, so it's good. I mean, I was really hoping to use Une over Doga, who would be more damage. I'd rather have Doga for the floors than for here. I still haven't seen Onion Knight. You have to have options. Oh no, my seal's down. I think we'll have remaining. Kind of accurate. was accurate. Let's go. minute fight on that one. Not too bad. Palms are like getting a little weird, but okay. Like we made a couple of mistakes, which is not helping the situation, but not bad. All right. So I have a raising. I think I have, do I have a raising for 71? I think I do have a raising for 71. So at least I can use it there. Gonna hope I can pick more up uh, going into 81. And we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys for watching. I will take a stand up stretch break here. We'll also push out the ads. I'll come back once the ads are done. See you in a little bit. Let's play some background music. Perfect. And while you're away, uh, we'll, we, we did this, I think, two weeks, three weeks ago. We had the Tokyo Treat boxes. You can check that out if you want to while we are out of here. Uh, limited edition Japanese snacks sent to your home. 
Not too bad on shipping, it's just customs that's the problem, but the shipping's actually pretty respectable. You do support the stream, and you get a $5 discount. And then we have the merch store for our thing that's uh, Deep Dungeon related. We're going to be adding to it very soon. Hopefully I'll have actually new things once Dawn Shell comes around. I am working with our artists that did the initial Lone Hero and Necromancer t-shirts. So, um, I'm going to check that out while I'm away. Bless. Outside of that, I'll see you in a little bit. Alright guys, BRB. Alright, let us continue. Hopefully I'll be a little bit less concerned about surviv surviving, maybe. I feel like this is like the last set of floors where things can get mega mega spicy, but at least I have raising to help me out. Alright, 71 plus. Let's do it. That, okay. Probably gonna do a um, landmine place here. I just don't have witching. That's the only problem. I have two. I have two. Um. I have two lethargies, which are gonna be useful. And then it's easy sheet. Um. You know, I am more comfortable in 81. 91, not so much, but 81 ain't too bad. Great. Oh no, not that, not that. Please not that. Or the landmines. That's a treasury, but there's no landmine. Oh my god, where's the landmine? <laughs> oh no. There's no landmine. Oh shit. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Damn, I used the shank steel there. Okay, okay. Well, there goes my raising. I need to think very carefully here. I'm gonna do a, um... Uh, I'm gonna do a storm play here. I can't see shit, dude. Hell. Okay. This counts as a storm play, so I'm just gonna get take through this. Good thing I had the racing, I guess. I did waste the uh the steel. Kinda suck, but what a start. Uh when there's zero landmines, it doesn't help and you're banking on the landmines to show up, you know? Okay, affluence... I'm gonna need to use. Alter- okay. Guess we'll do that. Wishin... Literally nothing good. I need to find something to pull now. Actually, I do have something to pull. Let me do this. Because I gotta pull the exit anyway. Okay. 
Come here. That push. Yeah, that push. Stay with us, Solchar. God damn it! I don't have. I don't have Puri. <laughs> Forgot. All right. You know what? It's fine. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. I really need to learn the different signs or I seriously you want to get the... Well, the only, you know, the only ones I really memorize is landmines and flying traps. That's all I care about. So you can do that if you want to. Just, just know the, just know the ones you need to care about. Less things to worry about, less things to remember. I mean, the double pulls, I think, is going to be, um, probably an interesting look as well. Because, you know, what do we have to do with multiple enemies with you? That's kind of what that's looking for as well. So the pawns are not ideal because of this challenge, to be fair. Um, so that's all, that's all coming together because of it. Nice pickup. Okay, I think I still commit to... Uh, land my play, even though my my general palms are not looking great, and I don't have a raising up. You take Yaki. Sight feels so much more powerful than safety, especially yes, because of landmines. Yep. The plus side that Void Arc I did gave me the stamp. Nice, let's go. Demon. Okay, do I have landmines today? My steel's running out. That's not good. I right, Corgan. Ew. Oh, look a landmine with the Corgan. Perfect, that's exactly where I wanted them to be. Watch this be the only landmine. Where's my potsherds? My fragments. I can kind of do mini landmines here. I'm not gonna bother going there. Oh boy, that's not good. I'm dead. Yeah. 
<laughs> I did that so bad. Oh my god, because I ran away from the curl. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to do this again. That's for sure. Rip. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I hit. Okay, that's my bad. We'll do it again. It's fine. I'm gonna set up another file. <laughs> Let's try it again.